Hello my peregrini friends, welcome back to our competition. After an eventful qualifying day yesterday, today we will be able to watch our drivers racing for their groups. Yesterday was also our first day at work, so I hope you are all enjoying our narration. Well, today we will come with some news as well, because yesterday we managed to find a sponsor, not a financial type though, it is a mechanic. Because as you all, all know, we had mechanical issues in our past race, in our past race, and we hope we won't need one today. Well, I'll talk about our new mechanic during the race, as now the transmission is already starting. In the first position, we have Reynald Grab Cabral. Reynald is currently in the seventh position with eight points. Now. He has the pole position and the chance to jump in the table if he manages to keep the first position until the end. And as a reminder, now our drivers will race within the range for their risk and vision. So for Reinaldo, his risk is between 79 and 91%, quite high and it may, may actually work against him. His vision is between 74.7 and 86.7%. Reinaldo won't receive any bonus during this race in his attributes. At the second position we have Chiao Li, who is in the fourth position with 20 points tied with Piotr Frolov. Even if Chiao finishes in the same place as he started today, he has a huge chance to jump to first if the top three don't race well, including that Vladimir who is racing today is already behind Chiao, giving Chiao a bigger chance to pass him. Chao's risk is between 74 and 79% and will receive a 1% bonus in each checkpoint. His vision range is between 76.7 and 81.7%. Now, at the third position, we have Elisha Brooks in the eighth position with 16 points. Elisha is at the top of the mid table, but even if she wins, her chances to take in the first spot are minor, minor as many dependencies would need to be met for this to happen. Alicia's risk is between 69 and 79 percent uh, with a 2 bonus which will be added to her risk on every checkpoint. Her vision range is between 74.9 and 84.9 percent. In the fourth position we have Yolanta Jans from Poland. Yolanta won the previous race in the group 2 and received 14 points that granted a huge jump to the 10th position. It is a massive recovery from not finishing the first race. Let's see if Yolanta managed to keep up the pace of recovery today during this race. Yolanta is racing today with a risk range between 67 and 76% and will receive a 3% bonus on each checkpoint. Her vision is between 75.4 and 84.4%. Starting in the 5th position we have the Brazilian Poliana Vaz who's at the last position of the championship with 2 points. In the last race she lost control after landing the jump and was hit sideways twice, putting her out of the race. Poliana is now sporting a brand new sportive front and rear bumpers in the hope that she will perform better. That was a gift from us. Poli's risk today will be between 59 and 74% with a bonus of 6%. Her vision range is between 67.8 and 82.8%. Following Poliana in the 6th position we have Shane Graham. Shane had a huge front impact in the last race breaking his left arm, but he seems to have recovered well. He's currently in the 10th position with 14 points and like Poli, he's also sporting new bumpers today. His risk range is between 63 and 71% with a bonus of 9%. His vision range is between 70, 70, 74.5 and 82.5%. And in the 7th position we have Teruya Muneyak who is tied with Shane in the 10th position also with 14 points. Even though Teruya has finished all of the races his positions weren't that good. Let's see if today he can finish within the first 3 of his group. He has a lot to recover though. Teruya's risk range today is between 65 and 72% with a bonus of 12% and his vision is between 73 and 80%. And in the last position we have Vladimir Agurtsov. Vova has made an incredible first race by starting in last and finishing in first and a very lukewarm second race. 
which has helped him actually to keep a high standing in the championship at the third position with 21 points. Volva yesterday had a horrible performance, performance in the qualifiers and his risk is quite low, even with the bonus. Well, his risk, his risk is between 53 and 62% with a bonus of 15%. His vision is between 72.7% and, 72 and 81.7%. We have now finished with all our introductions. Let's start the race. Please uh, don't forget to write which one is your favorite driver from this race in the comments below before the, the race starts. Okay, let's go. And here we are. Let's start the race. Come on, first jumps. It is strong. You want to have us stay behind from the fourth position. Now she is at the seventh, I think. Yeah, we have here uh, Hinaldo Cabral in the battle for the second position with me. Oh, whoa. what happened? Vladimir Agurtov seems to have been caught on the beginning of the race and it looks like he's gonna drop out. Yeah, it looks like he's gonna drop out. So for the moment we have here Tiao Lin first, he had a very good start, despite losing, losing his bumper. We have in second, Reinaldo Cabral who is attempted the first position, look at him, he's going! Oh, he tried and he caught the first position, Reinaldo Cabral. What a, what a very good start, Reinaldo Cabral. Oh, and then we have also a fight for the, for the third place. For the third place, we have Teruya Muniak pressing Elisha Brook and Teruya Muniak caught the third place. Shane Graham is trying to catch, but no, he didn't. He didn't manage to catch the the, the, the first place. Let's see what's gonna happen here. So Reynaldo Cabral finished the, the first lap in first, then we have Chiao Li, Teruim Munak, Shin Graham, Shin Graham managed to take the position from Elisha Brook. So, what a first lap, what a first lap, and well, I think now we have a first client for our mechanic, which is Ari. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna ask, oh, no, no, oh, not now, okay. So, it seems that Elisha Brook is also giving up on the race. Uh, she seems to have been gone too fast on that first turn and now she's having issues with the car, it is not accelerating anymore, we will have to go deeper in. Oh, what? Oh, while we were looking at the replay, another car Ralph was there. Oh, I, I don't have words. What is happening? Juliana, no, Poliana Vaz now. She was caught in, the, in an accident, uh, accident again. She's also going out on the race. And Reynaldo Cabral, who was having a time of his life, he's also out. So the remaining of the race are now Xiao Li, Teruya Muniak in second, Shane Brecht in third, Yolanta Yanos in fourth. And yeah, Poliana just cannot continue. She cannot continue. So, four cars have already dropped off the race. And then Xiao Li has the chance now because he's very well positioned in the competition. He is now in the first. Let's see what's gonna happen throughout the race. And I think now it's time for us to talk a little bit with Ari. Ari, introduce yourself, please. Buongiorno, my name is Ari Sorrentino. I came from Italy as a former mechanic from Civetta. Now I'm here to tune cars to help drivers to get to the top of their skills. Thank you, Ari. In our conversation yesterday, you didn't mention work for Tiveta, only that you were a mechanic. Thank you so much for this information. We already know the cars that you will be working on and they are two KC4s from Reinaldo and Vova and two 854X from Poliana and Elisha. It's a oh look at Chiao Li, he's crazy and threw Emniak behind him also uh, almost went out. 
So it seems that they are very, very, very fast now. They are, they are trying their best to keep the position, but they cannot make any mistake in the race. Because if they do any mistake, they are out. And I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry for Poliana now because she was caught in the accident just by, like. I, I don't even have words, I forgot about it. Oh, look at Chao Li, he almost went out like like Reinaldo Cabral. No, he's just under control, everything's under control. And I can see here that Rui Muniak is closing in Chao Li. Really, he have enough time to actually be able to pass uh, Chao Li? I don't think so, but let's see what's gonna happen here. We have in the first position again, Chao Li who's leading. Then we have Trui and Muniak closing in, Shane Graham not far behind, only Yolanta Janos who, yeah, who, who's actually very very far behind. So we have here less than one second of difference between Chiao Li and Trui and Muniaki. Less than one second. So yeah, that's the race. Chiao Li in first, he's gonna take 13 points. Teruya Muniak in second, who's gonna take 10 points. Shane Graham 9 points and Yolanta Janos 8 points. I didn't even notice that it was already the end of the race. Okay, so that was really fast, really fast. With all of the points that they have accumulated from this race, uh, we can see that Chiao Li has jumped to the first position with 33 points now from the fourth position that he was tied with Piotr Frolov. Then we have Teruya Muniak who tied with Kian Falun and Shane, uh, sorry, uh, Salmon Puma, who both of those two races they have not yet raced. So Teruya Muniak will definitely lose position to them unless they do not finish the race. We have Shane Graham who jumped to the fifth position. Shane was also in the tenth position, tied with Teruya Muniak previously. Yolanta Janos on the sixth position. Again, she was tied with Shane and Teruya. So this race was very spe special for Teruya because he just went a little bit far from those two guys, uh, with one point difference to Shane and one point uh, two points difference to Yolanta. And Vladimir Gurtsov, he lost four positions and he's bound to lose more because he didn't do a very good performance, he just finished right after the, the start of the race. So I think we had some issues during the start. Poliana Vaz, Reinaldo Cabral, uh, Elisha Brooks, they did not finish, uh, so they didn't accumulate at any point and they just dropped in the race. Elisha dropped from the 8th to the 11th position and the other guys, they just stay there where they are. Now let's address our new member of the group, which is Ari Sorrentino. Ari, please, now that we, ha we have already four cars for you to take on, what is it that you're gonna do with them? So these cars definitely need a boost in performance. We have Vladimir Kurtsov and Reynaldo Cabral with the AKC4 needing an upgrade. As I can see, this mission and the exhaust need to be changed to better ones. 854X of Alicia Books and Poliana Vaz who have new transmission as well, along with new engine mounts and four pan. Thank you so much, Ari. I'm looking forward to see the results of your work. And uh, the drivers, I think, are also looking forward to it. And now that we're going for a pause between races, the next race is going to be at 12. Let's talk a little bit with Ari. Ari, tell us a little bit about your experience back in Italy. What did you do back in Civetta? What were the things that you worked at? Now, with those questions lingering in our mind, they are going to be answered in the next video on the race for the group of number two. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.